Greetings, everyone. I am Peter Kane. Greetings, everyone. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Today, I would like to share to you an important message. This Wednesday, which is tomorrow, marks the beginning of the new year of 2014 or 2014. Next year will feature many challenges that we cannot ignore. Two things that I want to remind you about that our government wants us to do, which we really don't want to do. These two things are unjust laws that we got to start fighting against, and we really need your help. We really need your help, or the nation will fall apart. The most important and powerful law that we need to fight against is Obamacare. There's no other way to say it but the way of the word Obamacare. Barack Obama will not even say the word Obamacare because he fears impeachment. All he just wants to do is say the Affordable Care Act while it's not affordable. This health care law bypasses protection of religious freedom, and we need to stand up for religious freedom for, or our nation will not survive. The reason why that our religious rights are threatened is because of the HHS mandate. The HHS mandate requires all institutions not just public, but private, Catholic, Episcopalian, Methodist, Presbyterian, all other institutions to provide contraceptions to its employers and its patients, male or female. The government doesn't even care if you're male or female. They want you to get a maternity care and contraception. And plus, that's even a threat to men. <laughs> Not just to women, but to men. They want you to get those things. Or you're going to be fine. <laughs> it's better to take the fine <laughs> than comply with the law. <laughs> Because complying the law is a violation of our conscience. And this is where civil disobedience comes into play. We cannot comply with this unjust law in any way, shape, or form. Because it violates our conscience. And if we don't comply, we'll be fined. But not complying with the Obamacare law is actually good for you. Because you are in good conscience standing if you do not comply with the law. And if you do comply with the law, you're no longer in good conscience. The second thing that I would like to talk about is that something that you never heard of before. In 2007, even though we cannot blame President George W. Bush for it, because the Democrats, his opposition party at that time, because the Democrats had both houses of Congress and
what the Democrats did was he was forced to sign an outlaw of incandescent light bulbs. The traditional light bulbs that we have been light throughout our whole lives. Incandescent light bulbs will be banned as of January 1st, which is tomorrow. However, the They'll still be sold only when supplies last. That means you have to have many incandescent light bulbs for the future. And plus, this law should be abolished too. Like the Obamacare law. If you need light bulbs, Do not get uh, the uh, compact fluorescent light bulbs because it's a hazard. It's a real health hazard because if you drop one of those light bulbs, there's going to be mercury poisoning in your house. And you could actually get seriously sick. <laughs> And Obamacare will really take care of you if you get sick. And plus, don't get the halogen light bulbs because not only they're expensive and they waste your electricity bills and they could easily burn out in a snap. I say the best one to get in the future is a light, light, lighting emitting diode light bulb. You heard of a, a lighting emitting diode or LED light before because LEDs, they've been around since 1962. Plus, there are many pluses with it. It takes up, uh, when, when you put it in, it takes up about five incandescent light bulbs. And they really last a long, long time. The negative is the cost. You'll see some uh, stores selling it for $10, but there are others selling it for 30 to $40. However, one thing that we should really do is make it cheaper. And someday, <laughs> it might be cheaper and affordable to buy, but we got to work together. Despite all of this, we want to make 2014 a better year. Even though Obamacare will be a job killer and you're going to worry to to find work and all that, or you're gonna struggle to find light bulb, sort, of, or the right light bulb that fits for you. And we want to make this a year for people to know better. Because people really do not learn from their mistakes. And plus, I cannot wait to see what happens in 2014, even beyond next month. One thing we must be 
committed to is making a brighter future beyond 2014 and years to come.